Hi, how are you? Matt Watson here from CarWow. So I'm sat in a Nissan GTR R32. Next to me is a Nissan GTR R33. And next to that is a Nissan GTR R34. And next to that is a Nissan GTR R35. Actually, it's a Nismo GTR, but yeah, it doesn't matter. Anyway, we're gonna have a drag race. But before we do, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of these crazy videos. Now these cars are famous for their RB26 engines. And as the name suggests, they have 2.6 litres in capacity. They're straight sixes with twin turbo. And apparently they put out 280 horsepower because that was a Japanese gentleman's agreement that the car should not put out more horsepower than 280 horsepower. And actually the reality is um, slightly uh, different. So apparently this R32 puts out about 300 horsepower, the R33 about 320 and the R34 about 340. That's the torque. 353 newton meters in this. We've got 368 newton meters in the R33. And then we've got 392 newton meters in the R34. In terms of weight, this R32 comes in at just over 1.4 tons. The R33 at just over 1.5 tons. And the R34 just under 1.6 tons. Now they've all got four wheel drive and they have manual gearboxes. Five speed in this, five speed in the R33 and a six speed in the R34. In terms of the price, well, the value of this is about £45,000. The R33 is worth about £70,000 and the R34, they've really gone up in value. That one's worth about £120,000. That brings me on to the Nismo GTR because that is a 216 model year car. And that's probably worth about £120,000 as well. It's quite different to these though because it has a 3.8 litre V6 twin turbo. Puts out 600 horsepower and 652 newton meters of torque. It's got a dual clutch automatic six speed gearbox with launch control. So it has a serious advantage here. However, one problem that the Nismo has is that it may be more advanced, but it's also more advanced in terms of its weight. It weighs over 1.7 tons. If you'd like to compare the stats of all these cars side by side, pause the video in a second because I'm going to put a panel up which shows all the details. Are you ready? Here it is. Anyway, let's go on with this. Buy, sell, car, wow. Now before we race, we're going to do the obligatory car by sound check. So here we go. I'm going to rev up this beautiful R32. Should point out it's got an aftermarket titanium exhaust, but other than that, this car and all the others are standard. So. <laughs> I've already driven this and it sounds even better when you're driving, but let's have a little listen to the R33. Go on R33, rev up your motor. Okay, R34, rev up your engine. Can't hear anything from here. Anyway, finally, let's hear the R35. <laughs> Okay, good. We put a pin comment. I want you to vote which you thought sounded the best. This one, this one. Let me know, okay? It's in the comments. Pin comment, just vote. All right. Anyway, shall we race? Let's race. Yeah, let's definitely race. Three, two, one. Good start from me. Oh, here comes the R33. Here comes the R34, I'm going to beat him. Adam, I'm in the oldest and it didn't come last. So R33, I beat you off the line, but you ended up coming past me. How was your race? And really, really well, yeah. I managed to get a decent launch, shoulders a little bit better, but uh, came back here through the gear changes and uh, just pulled a bit of a gap. R34 though, what's going on, mate? Yeah, I was just being a massive nano with my launch in someone else's uh, very expensive car. I think I can do better though. Let's do it again. Oh. oh no, this is closer now. Come on, R32! <laughs> Thank 
That was a better start from everyone. We were pretty much on the money each time there. R33, you did a better start that time, and once again, you beat me. Absolutely, yeah. It was uh, very close there, but evenly matched as well, you know, between all three models. And R34, you started good that time. Happy with that one. R35, how was that for you? Uh, yeah, just looking in the mirrors, basically. Oh, well. So then, what exactly happened? Well, the R35 won, completing the standing quarter mile in 11.6 seconds. The R34 took 14.8 seconds, the R33 15.1 seconds, and the R32 was last, finishing in 15.5 seconds. Now we can have a rolling race from 30 miles an hour with the cars in second gear. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Come on, boost, 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 boost. Very, very close. Does alter on the gear change. What's your red line, R33? 8,000. And yours, R34? 8,000 as well. Snap. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do another rolling race, this time from 50 miles an hour with the cars in third gear. So here we go. Three, two, one, go. Come on, build! Oh, there they go, the buggers. Same thing again, but I tell you what, the way these things build power is so nice. The twin turbo really, really works. Doesn't feel laggy, just builds nicely. And that sound from that straight six, 2.6 is just glorious. And if you've been looking at my dials thinking, wait a minute, Matt, you've been talking about like 30 miles an hour and 50 miles an hour, the clocks say KMH. Well, as well as the titanium exhaust, some of the upgrades the owner of this car has done is to fit some Nismo dials, which are in kilometers, but they actually relate to miles an hour in terms of where the needle is. Anyway, let's move on. Now we're going to do a brake test from 100 miles an hour. When we reach the line, full emergency stop. Which car will stop in the shortest distance? Here comes the line, full emergency stop now. <laughs> might be to do with weight, might not be because while I am the lightest, the R33 is lighter than the R34. I'm just gonna find my radio to gloat for a moment, if you don't mind. Hello everybody, I'm very pleased with how I stopped the car. Oh, wait a minute, the R35 just absolutely destroyed everybody despite being the heaviest. 